when I run, I'm really at peace. I'm not thinking about how my day has been or, or what's happened. I'm really just taking a break from the world. I've always grown up in an active family, and I always competed in sports. I ran track in school. Went backpacking with my family as a kid. We went all across the great parks and backpacked them, and that passion grew. I decided to join the Army because I wanted to serve. I wanted to, to do my part. I had an awesome group of guys I was deployed with. It's an amazing experience to have that kind of camaraderie and to know you're there to help the next guy. After the initial explosion, I was thrown uh, onto a berm, and I did what everyone tries to do and stands back up, slammed my legs into the ground, realized, hey, I can't do anything. I can't help anyone out right now. Um, so I, I laid back, and guy, my guys came and helped me out. I woke up in the hospital at Walter Reed. I spent the first one and a half months going through over 40 surgeries to try to fix up and preserve as much of my legs as possible. As I was recovering, I used so many other people as inspiration and as a path to follow to, to continue to improve myself, to go farther, to go faster. I'm gonna be able to do this again. I'm gonna work hard and I'm gonna be able to do it. And I think there's a possibility this might not happen. It's like, no, that's, that's not what it's gonna be. Recently, I just went back for the first time since injury with my family again. I was a little nervous. I was worried what could happen. When we went there, it was actually so much easier than I thought it was gonna be because I have that freedom to do what I did before and I've worked really hard at it. It was something that is worth a lot to me. My life is so much easier because of all the technology and all the advances in prosthetics. I want to function at a high level. I want to go as fast as I can. And as I turned to running and cycling, I needed a more active leg, a more responsive foot, and that's what I got. If I met with the designers who, who made my knees and who made my legs, I would definitely tell them these are the best there are out there. And then I would tell them, hey, let's make this better for the next guy. Let's make it lighter. Let's make it more effective. Let's make it so it works for every single person in every single situation. Right now I'm going to school and I hope to eventually become a bioengineer and work on prosthetics themselves. But I also want to encourage people to be the athletes they can be. I was encouraged to run. I want to, to be an example to other people, like, hey, you can do this. You can keep pushing. You can, you can make this work. There's nothing stopping you. You just have to have that willpower. You got to train and you got to go out there and do it.